Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to use Voodoo Motion Tracks in Blender. If you've ever tried this before and failed, it's because the build of Python script that Voodoo uses is outdated for today's version of Blender. So this is how to fix that. So first, get your camera, because we need to make a sequence of images. So, so it's the resolution of the images you're using. I'm not sure if the... I don't think that the frame rate matters, but I do it out of habit. And oh, we don't need this. Uh, let's go here. If we go to movie. Set this to one, two, here, and choose the movie that you want. Then delete this, and set it to the number of frames that you want. Uh, you'll have to go here because sometimes the last frames are black. Because uh, the I assume it's a frame rate issue from converting this, uh, converting the video. But those frames, they're not functional, so. Let's get this, and. I don't know what I. Uh, yeah. So if you manage to not make the mistake that I made there, you can go here, and then find a folder to put the images in have them in PNG because I find that that's the best quality so I want it to be the highest quality possible and render it and it should look just like the image I already did render it before so I don't have to go through the entire process then you have to open Voodoo when you've finished give it a while to load and press Control S to open an image sequence browse and find it so just click on the first image and I it'll show how many images it has in the sequence and I rendered 300 of them because a 599 is a bit more than I need then you press track but I've already tracked this so stop tracking or I will you should leave it tracking until the thing disappears but then when you go through all of these points should be in the proper places and then you save it as blender python script the outdated version of blender python script and then go to microsoft word or any other text editing program that can do a find and replace function and then you open go to the folder that you want it in i uh, put here for some reason uh, all files and find it and then you need to fix it <coughs> I did fix this before so I'll just show you how but I won't actually be pressing the replace button you have to find all occurrences of the phrase Matthew Tills dot matrix and replace it with nothing so then you do that it will delete one it should have it should be equal to the number of frames that you tracked and then you go to set underscore frame and replace it with frame underscore set for some reason. And should have one replacement per frame. Then you press control S. This thing will appear. You press yes. And then you go back to Blender where you can open a new file, delete everything, everything. And there was an issue that I had with this track that doesn't usually happen. Maybe it's the new version of Blender. But it will say that it might say this, depending on your track. Dot dot lens underscore unit equals degrees in quotations is an issue. So I'll just delete that. I tried this before. It Deleting that didn't really seem to have a, an effect on the track. It still works just fine. Except I noticed that there are two of these empties. So what the empty is, is basically parent uh, the camera is parented to it because the camera is uh, keyframed to move along with the camera in real life while well, this is not keyframed so you move this and then that's a new place for your camera to start uh, so this I should turn on screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing and then there are these little dots which you can delete if you want but I would like to keep them and rotate them by 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees, because 
if you do this, you can see what they are. Let's go here. Open and not this one. Here. And now set his background and you can see that these are the same points that you can see tracked in the voodoo file. Let's go to background images and make this more opaque. And there we go. Those are little reference points. So if you're outside of the camera view, you might be able to see what you're doing. And now as you can see, the 3D cursor right there will stay in the same place, although it might be a little different because it lags a little because it's a lot of information to process and the resolution isn't even at the right scale. There. Now everything should move just fine. The 3D cursor should be in the same place. And if not, you can try again, or you can try using the Blender internal motion tracking. The reason that you want to do this is because it's automatic, so it will free up some time so you can do something else, maybe on the computer, maybe you can just leave and do something else entirely. But what I found is Voodoo, although it does say in the program, when it loads, that it does have free move tracking. Uh, to my knowledge, that doesn't work. If you look here, free move, yeah, that's when you're moving forward or backwards. It doesn't seem to work for me, but I did find that rotation camera on tripod, it doesn't need a tripod. For example, uh, this video here, was just handheld. So I just held the camera just if you do that, try to have a second hand to keep the camera steady. Because if it moves forwards or backwards or shakes too much you might get some issues. And that's how to uh, motion track a video in Voodoo and use it in Blender.